hello once again i believe you guys are doing good in here so i'm sorry um i ran out of memory so that's why the video was cut so let me kind of try repeat this in case you haven't seen that past one so i'll play them all we were in question number five or example number five that is where our function is root x our function is root x so we write the formula again the formula the formula for um the first derivative principle the first principle of derivatives and then we write f of x plus h it's here wherever i see x i plug x plus h and then f of x still is the same so yeah and then um we have to plug them in to the formula plugging in so f of x plus h is to be replaced by this term and then minus f of x what is f of x f of x is this so it's here so then now we are unable to when we plug zero we're going to get something which is not defined because we are having the denominator at zero so it's impossible for us to get an answer for that so what we do um we try to rationalize the numerator because the numerator is irrational so therefore with that we are going to multiply by the conjugate of the above hope you remember the topic here says um we are going to find the conjugate of the above or of the numerator that is we changed either sign of this term or this term so i'll choose to change of this one so we're gonna have it copied down as it is it is like that and then you multiply by root x plus h plus root x and then what you do above do it beneath so that you don't destroy your equation because if it is like that when we cancel out we can say this into this is one this into that is one and then we still go back to our equation right then from there remember what we are rationalizing we are rationalizing the numerator simplify the numerator simplify the numerator by simply removing the brackets we're gonna have root x plus h times root x plus h which is that and then plus root x plus h times root x which is this and then minus root x times root x plus h which is this plus minus root x times root x which is minus root x times root x then we simplify these ones they're the same we square them these ones are the same we square them and then beneath they are the same but different signs this one is minus this one is plus so they add to zero they go right denominator remains the same so here as well so power two will cancel the root power two will cancel square root power two will cancel square root so therefore we are going to remain with x plus h minus minus x and then beneath we have to remain it with we remain we have to remain with it being the same way as it was so therefore i made a mistake i should have copied this down root x plus h plus root x yes then being equal to that x minus x they add to zero so they go we remain with h only which is what we have here and then h there one and then h here one so we remain with one over this then from here now we are done with um limits we just now plug in we plug in zero for h which we'll have this way which will lead us there which is that which is this yes all right we are good i know i'm not just believing i know we are good then that is it yeah so probably it's nothing really hard there's nothing really hard so i'm gonna do other example which is pretty long which is pretty long example six if at all you saw it sorry for that if at all you saw it from the beginning let me alter it let me alter it because it will be too complicated and should take a lot of time and a lot of um space so let me um try simplify it it's question six i rewrote it um it's f of x probably i said g so it's g of x being equals to root x plus three i rewrote it nearly two x plus three so now it's root x plus three so being that way remember write down the formula write down the formula first principle h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x so everything over h now we want f of x plus h and f of x so therefore now we find f of x plus h wherever i see 
Oh my god. I'm sorry. It shouldn't be bo F, it should be bo G, right? Let me rewrite it. I'm sorry for that. Let me not cancel too much. So G prime of that, it's still that as h goes to zero of g of x plus h minus g of x then everything over h please do not forget please don't forget because either way you'll be forming your own your own question so we are not to write this but this but it's the same but please g and f they make a whole lot of difference so yes now we're looking for x plus h g of x plus h so wherever i see x there i replace by x plus h which means i'm gonna have x plus h plus 3 and then g of x is gonna be the same which is with x plus 3 right i think we're good and then we are to replace everything g prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of g of x plus h which is root x plus h plus 3 everything under root minus g of x which is root x plus 3 there is no need for us to put brackets here because everything is under root and then everything divided by h so now we try to plug 0 for h so that we find the limit and then we can't because the above because the beneath will become zero which violates rational numbers because we have to find our answer being rational so then we are to multiply by the conjugate of the above still we rationalize the numerator right we rationalize the numerator so that is we are going to have lem h goes to zero of root x plus h plus three uh, it's gonna be long hey let me start it here lem as h goes to zero of root x plus h plus three minus root x plus three everything over h the numerator we are multiplying it by its conjugate that is root x plus h plus three plus root x plus three right put brackets for all to show that everything here is affecting everything there then beneath again we multiply by the same term so that it will not destroy the value of it right then plus root x plus 3 right and then we simplify the above we remove the brackets from the above root x plus h plus 3 times root x plus h plus 3 so they are the same let me just square them oh right lean first please i just square them which is root x plus h plus 3 squared right because they are the same and then root x plus h plus 3 times root x plus 3 they're not the same so i'm gonna put them close to each other because that is multiplication plus 3 times root x plus 3 the other one is minus root x plus 3 times root x plus h plus 3 so they're not the same i'm gonna put them together with the minus sign though let me start with the bigger one because here I started with it so that it will look nice when we cancel out times root x plus 3 and then minus root x plus 3 times positive root x plus 3 so therefore it is the same when we square it they inherit the minus sign because a minus and it's Mark, um, negative times a positive to be a negative so therefore i'm gonna have that squared i'm sorry it's too long but it's worth it to take a good number of marks so yeah the next part we are trying to simplify then before going any far this and this this term and this term they are the same but this one is positive and this one is negative so they will add to zero in which some people will say they cancel out so they add to zero or they nullify so we're gonna be remaining with this one and that one but they are being squared its roots being squared so therefore they are just going to cancel out cube or square root is going to be cancelled by power root what <laughs> square root is going to be cancelled by power two so i'm going to be remaining with x plus 
h plus 3 minus this one as well is a root and a square they will cancel out and then we have to remain with that everything over h i made a mistake here it should be h times this term oh my god oh yes it's fine root x plus h plus 3 plus root x plus 3 sorry for that hey maybe i'm tired and then times root x plus h plus 3 plus root x plus 3 right it's like that so let's simplify the numerator that is lem as h goes to zero of um x plus h plus 3 minus x minus 3 because distributing the minus sign it will give you everything as minus and then h times root x plus h plus 3 plus root x plus 3 is giving them that cap like that and then x minus x add to zero right x minus x can x plus negative x they cancel out 3 plus negative 3 they cancel out we remain with that h so therefore now we're going to be remaining with lim as h goes to 0 of h over h times root x plus h plus 3 plus root x plus 3 brackets to show that this h is affecting them all right then h here 1 h here 1 so we are going to remain with lim as h goes to 0 of 1 over this part root x plus h plus 3 plus root x plus 3 no need for the brackets because we're having a long division sign so now at this point now we can substitute h by 0 so which is finding the limit which is probably going to be very much possible so that is h plus 0 plus 3 root plus root 3 root x plus 3 simplifying we're gonna get root x plus 3 plus root x plus 3 which is equals to 1 over 2 root x plus 3 then therefore therefore Oh no, it's not F, it's a G. Apologies, fellas. Z. It's equals to 1 over 2 root x plus 3. That would be our answer. So, therefore, fellas, I love you all, man. Keep safe and please practice. Mets. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Love you all. See you next time. Hey, and please do study hard and get this thing. Do not let Corona disturb you.